Illuminati. You are not Illuminati. This is what they this is what they don't want us to talk about. They're screaming and they don't want no one to talk about that. And the reality is when you when your when your tongue is tied, your soul is already being bought. When you can't talk about this stuff, and this goes for you streamers, that's what's happening. We understand the people who pay for all your fake streams, which we've already known this. They not finna allow you to talk about this. You talk like Illuminati and you know what time it is. That's why they love Illuminati. That's why Duke loves Illuminati. That's why Duke, all these people love Illuminati over all those other streamers because they know he's real. That's why Kevin Hart said, I wish I could be like Dave Chappelle. And the dude said, what do you mean? He's like, because he, he can say what he wants. He's not bought and paid for. He, he can, he's not a, uh, you know, when they when they said, I want you to change everything up and I want you to do Wear this and that. Where a dress he was out. He didn't he didn't sell his soul. What's hey. good? It's your boy Rob Allen and T and Hi Sinead's cameraman was exposed for texting a 17-year-old girl. She lied about her age. She said she was 19. But when she told the truth and said she was 17, he continued to text her. He FaceTimed her and he played the game with her. The Texas was like, you know, vulgar. I'm sure y'all seen it, it went viral. Kai, when he spoke about it on his stream, he cried. Your age, he spoke about it. I think Aiden spoke about it and Solo Minati spoke about it. That's what we're about to watch right now. You guys can watch it with us. Okay. Am I gonna post this this time, bro? Like, am I gonna post this? I ain't, I can't do my real intro because I was just doing my motherfucking laundry and shit. I got my boxers on right now. I'm in the house, shit. I'm at home chilling, nigga. So listen, this video is not about me. I've been good, bro. I'm Big bro, whoever the fuck you is. Love Gotta you. be a real nigga though, no film boys. Something has come to my attention today. Today is the first of the month of August. And what, sh what actually triggered this video was a, 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 a 2K. It's hot out there, Haley. Um, a, 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 some fucking 2K gameplay that they had posted and it pissed me the fuck I'm and it put me in the mood to just want to complain so here I am a lot of y'all gotta understand sometimes God take me away so I can really find myself away from the ethernet stuff because it's not me nothing on here is really me in real life it's just images that I created on this bitch going crazy with y'all but in reality when you take everything away from that particular person who got all the clout all the followers and was getting all the attention and all the money that person behind all that, that's who you really want to get a chance to know. Because nine times out of 10, everybody y'all see right now online is just protecting their image. There's a lot of bullshit going online. One of the things I'm online is just protecting their image. There's a lot of bullshit going online. One of the things I'm starting to notice, my nigga, the weirdo Hollywood, the weirdo shit that was going on in Hollywood is starting to transfer over to streamers and YouTubers. It's kind of even fucked up to even say you a motherfucking YouTuber in 2024 or a streamer. Because nonstop, all y'all been doing is getting exposed for being weirdos. Like, it's fucked up. That's tough. Every time I turn around, it's another nigga getting exposed for being a weirdo. <laughs> now, listen, I'm going to be honest with you right now. It is a very, very, very tough time. And by the way, I've been gone since October 2023. None of this weirdo shit has nothing to do with me. My energy, everything about me was not on YouTube. All y'all other motherfucking ways niggas can absorb y'all self in this. This has nothing to do with me. But let me tell y'all this, straight up. I remember I was dropping videos on my spiritual channel. See, a lot of y'all niggas is getting older and shit is starting to click. I ain't gonna even say you becoming conscious because you still a body, but shit's starting to click. So a lot of niggas you used to watch is becoming near to you now. A lot of niggas you donated to, a lot of motherfuckers you was just turning up with, you starting to really question them now. You starting to see through them now. When I dropped a video about, I'm about to use this for a, a quick example real quick. Do we so in the building, man. I don't know why I got my shit like this, but I actually, it looks wacky, I ain't gonna lie. I'm still my shit. So listen, yes, bitch, I made it up. 
minds. Oh, we did. Bro, I'm good doing that. So listen. What is that? Yeah, I already hear niggas talking. Like, man, oh, nigga, I can hear your ass, so. bitch. So listen. I'm I, I'm about to disagree, Dewey. So we've been doing that since high school, two thousand and freaking six. I'm just saying. That's that's that. That's so old. He know that's old, man. They was doing that. Nelly did that. There's nothing new under this. Yeah, the the the. Look up Nelly and the what's them niggas' names? What's they names? The Nelly and the uh, Lunatics. Look them up. I think they was doing it back then. Every come on, bro. Tano, I dropped a video about Lil Nas X in the past. And this is when he was twerking on the devil and doing all his little weirdo stuff, right? And I was trying to paint the picture and tell y'all, he's planted perfectly to destroy kids. Fact. If you go to a Lil Nas X concert, you ain't gonna see nothing but film boys and trainees with thongs, twerking and doing all type of weirdo shit, Weird. right? But when you go online, he was, at that time, was doing Roblox concert with kids. Fortnite concerts and shit, but no, no children fuck with him. Nah. Now y'all gotta understand what a plant is when they put in position to automatically succeed. The streams fake, everything is fake. But you looking at them like a god in reality. The nigga was planning literally to change the mind. How many of y'all motherfuckers back in 2018, 2017, you was probably 12, 13, 14, probably 15. You grown as fuck now, and you don't want to have nothing to do with Lil Nas X. But back in the day, you was, you fuck with it. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. These weirdos are being planted, and it's starting to happen in the YouTube and streaming community as well. It's been happening. I remember I've been told y'all, I just ain't saying no names. And this video is not to target anybody. It's just the weirdo energy is starting to come over here now. So now y'all gotta get God's back like the case of case. Who's not afraid to really give you a real fucking opinion. Because most niggas is trying to protect their image. Especially if you in these groups and all type of shit. Y'all got so much to lose because y'all know when groups crumble, everything just go bad. Everything. Bad. And a lot of y'all ain't even did shit. It's just y'all man's in them. Let me turn my mic down. Hands in them. Let me turn my mic down, my bro. Man, it took yeah, me five but... minutes to notice I needed to turn this shit down. But look, huh? that shit's still loud. I ain't been on here, so I ain't gonna touch you nothing. Damn, is you back? I just started recording, my baby. What are you about? All right, so listen, my girl, she just got back. But look, a lot of y'all gotta understand this. Right now, on YouTube, I say this year alone, I don't know how many people has got canceled for the pedophilia shit. I know Dr. Disrespect, and then you got the Chris situation. My nigga over there was with Mr. Beast. You should have been got rid of that fucking weirdo. Like, bro, y'all got to start drawing the line for people that don't want to be human, bro. Like, it is what it fucking is. Just like when I dropped the video about Cooley Ray. Or Coily, whatever, whatever, whatever my nigga name is. That's my bro. I told you, the little, little girl, the little nigga had an anatomy. Her whole body looked like mine's. And I study anatomy. I study human anatomy so I could tell what is what. And at the time, I was deeply on semen retention. So I had a lot of energy on my no fab shit. I wasn't really on no lustful shit. So when I'm coming across beautiful ass girls, I see a beautiful ass girls. And when I'm coming across a nigga, I see a nigga. And I told y'all straight up in that video, bro, this bitch could be a boy. I told y'all she was a nurse. Speaking of nurse. You think Corey Ray a boy? Mm, I don't know. Look up what just happened in the Olympics. Uh, Old girl got hit one time and quit because the trainee punched too hard. What the fuck is trainees doing boxing against women? I'm telling you right now. Them boys, trainees, all y'all niggas catching these hands if you ever come near me. You can be the prettiest trainee of all time. I'm beating you up. If you ever put your hands on me, you catching these hands. Hands! You catching them. 
one HP. I'm gonna I'm leave you on one HP to give you a choice to go back to your normal state. I ain't gonna completely get rid of you. I'm gonna leave you on one HP so you can be, so you can remember who the fuck you are. You a man. <laughs> but listen. <laughs> Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. That nigga's a savage, bro. <laughs> he said, I believe you're on 1 HP. So What's 1 HP like? 1 HP means you're on your last. You got 100 HP, you're on 1 HP. Yeah, that means you're about to die with one more little flick, you dead. He said, I'm going to leave you there so you can realize that. I'm a man. <laughs> that is sick. Dang, bro. He's, he ain't lying, though. He goes into you. Did you see that? The. The boss in that yesterday, the girl who in the Olympics had to fight the train. That's wild. I don't agree with none of that. You should, you can't be in the sport. Every most people, even even people who are on the hot on the left, democratic, they know this is wrong, bro. You can't let them the men freaking knock these women out, dog. These still men at the end of the day. Their chromosomes is the and same. They say, I seen a tweet that said Trump is against that, but Carmella, what's her name? She's Camilla? for it. She's for it. Camilla? She's for Kamala Harris, man. Kamala. I said Carmella. You know, not I don't Carmelo. Know. I know you don't know. You know you ain't in that she, they say she's not even black. She's like a She's Native, Native American. American. And she used to hit, man. And she's trying to. And she's married to a white man. I'm yeah, just saying. I've seen her I'm not, you know, it is what it is. We're going to say the real out here. You know, you know how we do it. We, I mean, we don't go crazy like Illuminati, but every so, so far everything he said is right. I don't believe. I don't know Coy Leray is a man though. I'm not gonna sit there and be like, I don't know, right? I don't know. That could be just a theory, you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't think she a dude. Yeah, that's a, it could be. It could be just, She's you just know, skinny. Skinny, yeah. Coming around, I told y'all. By the time 2030 get here, life gonna be so fucking different because now y'all got these new species, these new, I call them test tubes, but it's really a lot of deeper shit going on spiritually, but I, this is not my spiritual channel, so I ain't gonna talk about that. But you have these new type of beings that's here who don't wanna be human. So they would call they say, they be it, I'm He's a bitch. All that type of shit. They just don't want to be he or her. They want to be everything but that. This consciousness didn't exist until like 2015, 2016. Y'all know this? It's new. It didn't exist. Like, okay, drag queens and trainees probably been a, been a thing. It just wasn't pushed to the straight community. It was its own thing. But now, bro, it's like you got niggas in groups with fan bullies. Bro, these motherfuckers. Bro, I, like, bro. I ain't trying to get thrown off topic. I'll talk about that in a minute. But my nigga, these motherfuckers don't want to be humans. They trying to change the way a kid think. And what's the first what's the first thing these motherfuckers do? They send them to talk to kids at school. That's the first thing they do is send in trainees and drag queens to talk to kids at school. A kid can't make a all they want is V-Bucks and Roblox to put they don't bro they the kids. My nigga, Kids, bro, I can't even remember making a real decision about anything when I was a kid. No, but you, <laughs> nothing. No, I'm not the what, what color popsicle do I want? Let's talk about that. Oh. Life moves fast, so do we. Send money quickly with Remedy. But you talking about you gonna come to a? Yeah, seven more minutes. I can't remember making a a decision either. Like as a kid, like what color popsicle I want. Maybe like, oh, I want I want these new skates. But like, it was all materialistic things and things I put in my mouth and want to eat. Like, you know, Hershey's Cookies and Cream Bar. I, was, I know I want that every time I go to the store. But uh, this is what they this is what they don't want us to talk about. They're screening and they don't want no one to talk about that. And the reality is, when you when your when your tongue is tied, your soul is already being bought. When you can't talk about this stuff, and this goes for you streamers, that's what's happening. We understand. The people who pay for all your fake streams, which we've already known this, they not finna allow you to talk about this. You talk like Illuminati, and you know what time it is. That's why they love Illuminati. That's why Duke loves Illuminati. That's why Duke, all these people love Illuminati. 
over all those other streamers because they know he's real. That's why Kevin Hart said, I wish I could be like Dave Chappelle. And the dude said, what do you mean? He's like, because he, he can say what he wants. He's not bought and paid for. He can, he can he's not, uh, you know, when they, when they said, I want you to change everything up and I want you to do Wear this and that. Wear a dress, he was out. He didn't, he didn't sell his soul. And that's what they all gonna do. So when you see these streamers out here acting gay and all that other stuff, just know that they sold. They sold out. When you see them niggas guzzling glizzies and all that weird you stuff see on the shade room. that Speed be doing. Let's keep it a buck. Speed's weird. Out. I don't care what nobody say. You know he's weird. That ain't even Speed's mo. He just know that that's what they want him to do. He know that's what's gonna get him clicks. Now he got the whole, he got all y'all young boys acting gayer than ever before, bro. It's crazy. And that's, that's what Illuminati's talking about. Yeah, what you picking up? I said, if you see him on the shade room, they probably sold out. If you notice, the shade room don't post so Illuminati. I don't think I ever really seen him on the shade room. Dang. Yeah, yeah. They only post people that's like a part of the little The shade, you think thing. the shade room sold out? What do you think? You think they promote everybody that sold out? Here's the thing. There's redemption for the shade room because we know we know for a fact that the person who owns the shade room is actually a believer. 1,000% a believer. So, this is your chance to get out. You know what I'm saying? You got a couple guy star folks out here that can get you some help. Go ahead and hit us up or something. Hey, get out of that. You what must I do? Well, you got to get out of it. And I feel like and they said that they wanted to figure out a way to transition. I get it. It's all the clicks. It's all the money. It's all the endorsements. You're selling your soul. That's what it is. That's how you sell your soul. And now you only promoting bull crap 24-7 and you're never talking against it.